You are looking live at Ohio Stadium in Columbus, Ohio. The November weather is starting to change, but the Red Hot Buckeyes are a four touchdown favorite over Michigan State. Here's Rambo from the five. Looks for an alley on the left, and he is down at the 26-yard line. Let's meet our Chili's starting lineups. We have told you about Jermaine. Joe Montgomery is the backup for Wiley. Folks, keep that name in mind. He could be very important when Michigan comes in here in a couple of weeks. David Boston and D. Miller, perhaps the best pair of wide receivers in the college game, certainly in the Big Ten. The offensive line and improving group behind all Big Ten and All-American candidate Rob Murphy from Cincinnati. And four consecutive 300-yard games. Wiley goes in motion to the short side. And they run the fullback, Keller, to the 31-yard line. And up front, Robert Newkirk. The Buckeyes are very concerned about him. The linebackers have had to adjust with Mike Austin out. Josh Thornhill, the talented freshman, starts on the outside. The young man from Lansing, whose daddy was a good one. Their best blitzer is the strong safety, Eric Morris. The nickel man, Cedric Henry. And Coach Saban hopes to use him a lot today. He likes the nickel defense. Jermaine's first pass is complete to Boston. Flanker screen, and Boston for a Buckeye first down. Here's Jermaine on a play fake. Wiley going far side high. D. Miller in the air. Coming off his career game. And Miller. Flair Wiley. Beautiful in the flat. Wiley first down, runs free. 15, 10, and bumped out of bounds. The explosiveness of Keller back in in front of Wiley. And Jermaine's going to throw for it. Got the fade too high for Miller, and it's incomplete. Keller and Wiley. Boston, the only wide man. And here's the toss to Wiley behind a block by Keller. Wiley cut down. Could not get there. Keller and Wiley. Boston steps in motion over to the right wing, and now Jermaine does roll in that direction. Looks Boston. Tries to get him. Can't find him. Downed. It's fourth and goal. And this is going to be a 20-yard attempt. The punter, Brent Bartholomew, is the holder. He'll put it down at the 10-yard line from the right hash. Chips it through. Puts the Buckeyes on the board. They take the opening kickoff and drive down for their first three points. Helps the confidence of a kicker, doesn't it, John? Timeout. Field goal moments ago, putting the Buckeyes ahead with the ball on the tee. This is returnable. Here's Haygood from the five, the wide receiver. The youngster comes right, slips the first tackle, cuts back, and he's down at the 24-yard line, and let's meet the Chili's starting Michigan State offense here today. Cedric Irvin, averaging 107.3 yards a game, will run it, but it is the two wide receivers who've got to get something going today. Plaxico Burris and Gary Scott, as far as Michigan State is concerned, behind an offensive line that can be questionable sometimes, but not center Jason Strayhorn. Burke, the left-hander, going to throw long on the first play to Scott, incomplete. And it's the Silver Bolts. Ryan Pickett, the freshman from Florida, coming on better and better. Niall Diggs, outstanding folks. Number 32, and there is Antoine Winfield, a great one. The nickel man today is a bit of a change. Nate Clemens checks in. Three wide outs. Haygood checks in, and they use the inside shuffle, and here comes Cedric Irvin and runs it for nine yards. Third down and less than a yard. It's Cedric into the hole for the first down. Lavelle Richardson, the sophomore wideout, number seven, onto the field. And from that look, getting plenty of time, fires complete. And if they spot it, it'll be a first down. First and ten for Burke. Good change up by Tranquil, altering his packages and his formations. Irvin cutting back for about three yards. There's the draw play. Irvin hit beautifully by Barry. Gary Barry. Here's your third down for the Bucks. Barry standing up on the line of scrimmage. The linebackers flex off it. And here comes Diggs trying to get in. Burke going to go one on one. Throws it downfield. Caught beautifully. Plaxico Burris. First down and 10. Inside the 20 yard line. Scott comes in motion. 
The handoff to Irvin on a cutback in the hole behind the right tackle. The Spartans in the red zone. First time anybody's been there in three games against the Bucks. Second and eight. Burke, who's been accurate, gets time, goes in zone, incomplete. Shotgun look. Buckeyes show pressure. Trying to get at Burke. Fires high and incomplete. A 33-yarder. This for the tie. And he's got it. Edinger with a 33-yard field goal ties Ohio State. The Spartans hanging in in the opening quarter. Spartans are now tied, and Edinger with the ball on the tee will take it deep. This will come out on the 20-yard line that he would have beaten Michigan if they'd gone with Jermaine alone last year. Well, I think because of his passing ability that that might have been the difference. A couple interceptions there. Jermaine takes off this time and dives to the 24-yard line. Second down and seven. Jermaine with the run look and off the play action to Boston for the first down. Here's first down for the Bucks. Thornhill. And Wiley runs away from him that time and picked up a couple of yards. Hey, uh, Arizona, let me correct that. <laughs> and there is the handoff to Wiley. First down, he explodes again. Cross midfield, busted out of bounds inside the 45. Number five is averaging 108 yards a game, and he's already rushed for 31 on three carries. Blocking this time, middle Lumpkin wide open. Touchdown, Ohio State. John Lumpkin. 41 yards, and the tight end puts the Buckeyes back ahead again. Here is Stultz. Make it 10-3. Jermaine, the middle wide open. They blow the coverage. And the big tight end rumbles in for Ohio State's first touchdown. Timeout. Eight yards and 41 for the touchdown. Three pass plays, longer than 20 yards, and Haygood will take a knee, and the Spartans will bring it out. 60 yards of offense, though, for the Spartans. They've got to take heart after their first possession. Here's first down now for Burke, the left-hander. Here's Cedric, and he is stuffed at the line of scrimmage. Second and 12 down a touchdown fires Burris in space got away from Plummer pulls away and then Plummer comes back and brings him down at the 36 three of six for 88 yards two big plays inside and off again and Nervin second down they need seven yards snaps off a pass Burris dropped it wasn't going to get the first down. Fifth down and seven. Here comes Burke from the pocket middle. Burris couldn't make the diving reception. They need seven. Must reach the 27 for a first down. And Burke, under pressure, fires incomplete. And that time, Winfield, he's already thrown for over 100 yards in this game, trying to get more. May have to take this one out of bounds, and he does. Look stronger, too, when you see the young man in person than working with the weights. Short drop, fires complete, flanker screen, and the Spartans were all over. Corey Sanu said, no way. It is third and 16. Can they exploit that secondary? Jermaine is going to try. Fire, no first down on the play. Any quieter in November than right now? Bad punt. What kind of a bounce will it take? A little bit of a Buckeye roll down inside the 15-yard line. Ohio State leading Michigan State, 10-3. First down, Burke the left-hander, hit the ball! And the Buckeyes pounce on it. Ohio State ball, first down. It was Antoine Winfield on a corner blitz. What a look at Winfield. A blocker was on him, he ducked under him. Now Wiley. Pounds away at the right side of the Spartan defense. With the horseshoe. Is it amazing or what? I think they're stunned by that Penn State. Michigan score. Wiley stuffed at the five-yard line. Miller and Wiley. Boston out wide to the left for the Bucks. Here's the toss to Wiley behind Keller. Gets the block. Wiley stopped. 
and Thornhill, his fourth tackle of the game. And here is Wiley over the top for the touchdown. So the team averaging 38 points a game. An extra point away from 17. Ohio State, 17, Michigan State, 3. Folks, that touchdown belongs to Antoine Winfield. Timeout. High Florida State, and they've used that uh, throughout their offseason and this season so far. Here's Haygood. Middle, 30, cut back, 35. Good-looking return, and Hurt brings it out to the 41-yard line. Here's Burke now. Right back. Burris out of bounds across midfield. At Gary Scott on the other side. Irvin can't beat the initial rush. And that brings it in to the first quarter. Ohio State leading at 7-3. We're back after this message and a word from our ABC stations. And a second down and 12 at midfield. From the shotgun, incomplete on a bouncing ball. Here's third down and 12. Nate Clemens checks in as a fifth defensive back for the Buckeyes. From the shotgun, in trouble. Diggs put pressure on, intercepted. And it'll be waved off. This, If this is what I think it is, that's against the Buckeyes. And the Buckeyes have been rotating more and more defensive alignment. Now after the penalty on first down, looking for the halfback pass, throw back to Burke, it's a legal play. Got it, but no first down. Winfield sticks him. Winfield now, a couple of big plays. Here comes Irvin to the hole, and no further. He's a couple yards short of the first down. Let Diggs run around, and Rudzinski make those tackles. Leroy McFadden in for the first time, and the receiver down, and it is incomplete. Fourth and two. Snap. They go through with the kick. Wise choice by the coach. Puts three more points on the scoreboard. 13-31 to go in the first half. Buckeyes lead the Spartans 17-6. They with this Columbus crew this year. And a high pop fly. Infield fly rule. Fair catch at the 34-yard line. They're coming out from the 35. Pressure defense is the look from the Spartans. Keller, the fullback, and the Spartans read it perfectly. Folks in Columbus acting like it's an opera. They're waiting for Michigan in two weeks, obviously. Jermaine hit from the backside, fumble! And the Spartans go for it and got it at the 28-yard line. Michigan State recovers on the turnover. Buckeyes are ready defensively. Looking like a base 4-3 on first down, and now they come to press. The big cat jammed the hole, and the rest of the bolts climb all over him. Burke flares the backs. Burris jump ball incomplete. Two hides. Needs 12 yards on third down. Looking near side. Got an open man tight in. Baker rumbles for the first down this time inside the 10 yard line. First down and goal. Ball inside the 10 yard line. Clements a long handoff, reaches the five-yard line. A shotgun from the five-yard line. Burke waits, fires incomplete, trying to stick it in the end zone. It is third down and goal from the five. Burke fires incomplete, and it is fourth down. This a 22-yard attempt, and he has already made 33 and 43. It's from the five-yard line. Burke puts it down. And Edinger, three of three. 17-9, Ohio State with the lead. And 11 minutes all season long. Giving up fewer than 10 points a game and hanging tough here again. Short kickoff. Rambo's got it on the run, 25. And Alley out to the 35-yard line. For the Buckeyes here in the second quarter. Toss play, tough runner, tries to get squared up. Strung out beautifully and knocked out of bounds by Eric Morris. Second and nine. 
Germain snaps it off to Boston. Boston can't slip the tackle Jermaine down at the 41-yard line. And on the other side of the coin, the Buckeyes have been injury-free all season long. Here's the draw play with Keller. Spartans sniff it out. Florida is a punter. Originally wanted to go to Florida State. They didn't show any interest in him. Low punt. Scott runs up to the 25-yard line, and down he'll go in a heap at the 33-yard line. Those guys that make numbers out in Nevada tell me that Florida State's the second-best team in the country. Think about that one for a while. Here's Burke going downfield incomplete. Burke is back, Flack flared his backs, can't find an open one. Tosses it out of bounds. Here's Burke at the middle, got it wide open to Baker, but short of the first down. Standing at the Michigan State 26, he'll hit it right about the 31. Boston at the 21-yard line to the right sideline. He will not bring this one back for it. With Joe Germain, his quarterback, 7 of 8 for 118 yards and a touchdown pass to his tight end, John Lumpkin. Going to put it up again. Got him wide open to fullback Keller for a big play to the 44-yard line. And there goes Keller. And the handoff as Montgomery still in the game. Only throwing the football. I mean, he gets the ball to the open receiver, reads the defense even. You know, gets the ball to the by any quarterback ever. A lot bigger and stronger quarterback. Here is Montgomery for a first down if they give him the spot. In a couple of weeks. A freshman, Jamar Martin. And what a big hit that was for T.J. Turner. The Montgomery lined up behind Jermaine, who gets protection, snaps it off, complete to D. Miller to the 21-yard line. First down, Ohio State. Jermaine, 9 of 10, 164 yards, and driving the Bucks again. He'll swing it to Keller, the fullback, and this will be a loss of yardage with Spartans. Showing blitz, Jermaine, short drop, Germany, and the penalty flag comes down. Four pretty good football players in that group right now. Here's second down at 23. Jermaine, he's hit eight in a row. Misses on the ninth. Incomplete. They need to reach the 11 for a first down. They show blitz again on Jermaine. Thornhill coming through, and Jermaine sacked at the 42-yard line. That was Courtney Ledger. Nine. Scott signals fair catch at the 20-yard line. And when they saw that score go up, that depressed them a little bit. Uh-oh, they said. Yeah. That bunch is back. Not what we wanted to see. Draw play, and the Bucks are all over at that time with Joe Brown. They've held it to 14 yards. That's 11 carries for Irvin. Burke from the pocket, complete to the 21-yard line. Burke again. And dig and caught a couple of passes. Almost blocked. Here's Boston. Shakes the first defender. To the left and down at the 31-yard line. Split the backs. Passing look for Ohio State. Boston, midfield, shakes free. Picks up another yard. Eric Morris, their tough one, is over on the left side in pass defense. They go deep against the corner, knocked away beautifully. The corners back off, more of a prevent look, so Jermaine will fire underneath and incomplete for Boston. Fullback for protection, three wideouts to the right. Jermaine swings in that direction, but cannot get away from big number 98, Julian Peterson. Jermaine has passed for 175 yards in this game. Bartholomew punts it up. Fumble recovered by Scott on a hop, and sometimes you get a great return out of that, and he does. Bartholomew can't stop him. Coming down the sideline. Penalty flag. Hold on. Did they mark it out of bounds at the 46? Yes, they did. At the 45-yard line, 48 seconds to go. Burke with the shotgun look. Fire sideline and behind Richardson. Second and 10. Burke in the shotgun. Pressure, backside, slips away, goes for the first down marker.
Middle dropped by Burr. Should have held on. And Shotgun look. Here's your fourth down. 31 ticks of the clock in the first half. Blitz. The big cat hit him. Ohio State ball. Now Jermaine fires. Boston couldn't hang on. Second down and 10. Here's Jermaine. Drop it off underneath to Wiley. Wiley short of the first down. Spins. And there's third and two for Jermaine. Protection this time. Middle. Oh, what a jarring hit on the tight end that time. Or how about a uh, L.A. Dodger turnout? Here's the toss. Here's Wiley. To the 46-yard line. Up. And he stops the clock with. They got DBs lining up inside the 15-yard line. And Jermaine. Hale. The Spartans knock it away. It's In not. Eligible downfield offense. Penalties decline. The half is over. So there you are. And Nick Saban will take his Spartans into the locker room. One play turned this first half around. A cornerback by the name of Antoine Winfield ducked underneath a blocker, jarred the ball loose from Burke, then recovered the fumble. From there, the Buckeyes marched for their second touchdown. They lead it 17-9 timeout. Here you can see Sean Foster and Herb Haygood back for Dan Stoltz's second half kickoff and underway. The Spartans elect to take a late knee and it'll come out on the 20. The run defense for the Buckeyes has been fierce. Burke gets time on first down middle first, juggles, drops another one. That's his third. Use a shotgun. The offensive line holds up. Burke throws incomplete that. Must reach the 30-yard line. Burke underneath won't even get close. On his last punt attempt. Oh, they were coming again. And it is downed near midfield. Head ball. Personal foul. On the skipping team. 15-yard penalty. First down. Doesn't matter. Buckeyes get it back on the 32nd. 30 and on first down, they hand it off. Here's the toss, and here's Wiley. Slammed at the line of scrimmage. Three of them for a loss. Here's third and six. Jermaine incomplete as Boston and Bartholomew does get it away. Scott, the wide receiver from the 23. No fair catch and a penalty flag from Ryan. A two-yard belt. Burke brings the Spartans up, trailing 17-9. And a little bit of a better look on the running play. Second down and five. Swing. Irvin, good receiver, runs for the flag, got the first down and then some to the 47. Here's your first down and 10. Fake the end around and down goes Burke Winfield coming in again. I'd rather have more positive path uh, field position for my trick plays. Steps up on the blitz, middle complete. Put it into Gary Scott's hands and a wide receiver hangs on and he is thrown down. Inside handoff, Irvin beats Rudzinski, but gets not much further. <laughs> Second down and seven. Here's Burke. Going for Burris again, jump ball, and he can't hang on. Had a shot against Plummer. They need seven yards for a fresh set of downs. Burke snaps to the middle, picked off, intercepted. Touchdown, Buckeyes. Damon Moore, they won't get close. That celebration might draw a flag. 
but the Buckeyes could care less. Got it. They enjoyed every minute of the celebration. Damon Moore with the interception. Touchdown, Buckeyes. I think Damon Moore injured his right shoulder diving into the end zone. I'll tell you why here in a little while. Hey, good, going to come on out from the corner now. Ten. And down far short. And we watch Damon Moore, ladies and gentlemen. Now, no time for the Spartans. They got to hurry. That interception, folks, has turned this game completely around. Second down and eight. Incomplete. Talking about it on television. He doesn't know what he's talking about, folks. Second down and 17. Cedric trying to sneak out. Slips back. Makes his way to the 16-yard line. <laughs> Here's Burke. Well short. Doesn't mean a thing, folks. Got up the game favored by four touchdowns. Had to correct a bad snap that time, and it hit a Buckeye. I thought it hit 18 in the jersey, or did it hit a Spartan? Michigan State recovered it. They'll sort it all out. And they've got it. It did hit a Buckeye. Michigan State, it gives them a fresh life here from the 49. Here's Burke. Wants that sideline pass. Incomplete. Doctors can see when you're nursing your shoulder. <laughs> it's Burke back. Put it in the hands of the receiver, and down he goes. Third down and eight. They roll the pocket to the left. Got the first down. To the 20-yard line. Michigan State searching for a touchdown. And Irvin cannot even get it inside the red zone as Rodney Bailey. Burke fires over Plummer. Dodd LaBelle's got it in the corner. And touchdown, Michigan State. A beautiful catch by Lavelle Richardson. That's his first touchdown catch of the season. 23 yards, and the Spartans strike back. Who got beat for the touchdown? He pulls the extra point. No good. Kick 40-yard field goals. Miss extra points. Go figure this game. Timeout being held to 217. Their lowest of the year was 326. Short kickoff. And the Buckeyes will put it in play from the 35-yard line. I was going to the other one. Here comes Jermaine. Deflected. Wiley was swinging out of the backfield. Who knows what could happen here, but instead of being down eight, they're down nine. Here's Wiley. Jogs and hit from behind. And that shows you the kind of defense as the ball goes free. And the Spartans recover it. There it is. What a great defensive performance by Michigan State here this afternoon. Still 545 in the third. Here's Irvin. Slashes to the left. Cut down quickly. Plummer came up in. Second and eight. Look at the offensive line. Burt going deep. Scott bumped by Moore. No flag. It's third down and eight. Need yards. Blitz. Throw high, incomplete. They're going to try a 49-yard field goal. Wax it off a good snap, and it's good! Miss an extra point, kick a 49-yard field goal. Why not? It's college football. Sorry, I'm no mathematician, but I don't understand that one. Here comes the kick now by the Spartans. They're back in it against the top-ranked Ohio State Buckeyes. Rambo down. Here's Wiley, who fumbled. And Thornhill stops him at the 25-yard line. Two tight ends, one wide out, and a fullback. Maximum protection. Jermaine in trouble. Can't find anybody open, so he's going to sprint out of it. And dive! 
Here's the toss, and Wiley trying to get behind Keller, who levels Morris with a beautiful block. And now the Buckeyes starting to come on. Second down and one yard to go. And it is Keller, the blocker, rewarded. Struggle. Wasn't that the big man going in the end zone? Here's Wiley coming around the left side and forced out of bounds. Second down now, five yards to go. Wiley hit in the backfield that time. Third down, four yards to go for the Bucks. Jermaine off a play fake, snaps it low and incomplete, and Ohio State is forced to punt. When it's real quiet, that means you're doing real good. Bartholomew hangs it up beautifully. There's the fair catch, but inside the 10-yard line. But uh, now Burke and the Spartans will attempt to drive out. Irvin picks his way to position situation if they can and avoid punting from back there. There's a pass to Scott. Will he get it? No. Plummer stopped him short. Of this is big for the Spartans. They got it. Beautiful play. And Scott bails out Michigan State. And Michigan State has gained more yards than Ohio State. Hard to believe. One-on-one. -on -one. Going to try first again against Winfield. Got it this time. Jeff ball. And Michigan State wins it this time. Michigan State. 36 yards away from the tie. Burke. Couldn't find anybody open. Runs hard to the left. Throws back. Middles open. Tight end. And it is Baker to the 11 yard line. And in an open spot. Ball on the 12. First down. Cedric Irvin runs for the corner and he's cut off by Moore beautifully at the 7 yard line. All Nick Saban asked for was a chance in the fourth quarter. The fourth quarter is here. Back after this message and a word from our ABC stations. Seven yards away from a tie. Bill Burke with a 300 yard passing day. Second down and five for the Spartans as we start the final 15 of regulation. Cedric picks his way and blasts to the three-yard line. One yard away from a first down. They can get a first and goal inside the three-yard line. It'll be Irvin picking his way. Touchdown! Michigan State ties Ohio State. With 14.20 to go, the top-ranked team, Ohio State, has been tied. And now, with a decent snap, Edinger can boost the Spartans into a lead. Now you can say it. <laughs> They're in the lead. 92 yards in only eight plays. Here's Rambo from the three. Left return and knocked out of bounds. They did their business today, 27-0. Now the Spartans testing Joe Germain. And here's Wiley, sprints out to the right in a foot race going nowhere. Flying two while he's at it. Here comes Germain from the pocket. Ralph Miller got it, knocked out of bounds. First down, Boston in. Miller the wideouts. Jermaine got Boston jump ball. Got it. Incomplete. It's waved off by the back judge. Jace Saylor, defensive end, gets down in the stance. Jermaine on second down. Going back to the far side. Boston overthrown. Incomplete. The press formation. Here's the blitz. Canoes come and drop middle. Incomplete. And there's interference on the Spartans. The pass was real and catchable. There is no penalty. Spartans are concerned. Scott didn't get enough room to make the catch. There's the penalty, and it's going to be against Derek Ross, the special team whiz. There are two penalties of holding on the receiving team. We have an illegal two-yard belt violation on the kicking team. Penalty's offset. Replay, fourth down. 27-0. And Bartholomew drills it. It's going to go out of bounds inside the 20-yard line. And you see the Buckeye defense with 16 points today measured against the first eight games of their schedule. Burke in trouble, steps away from Diggs, fires incomplete. 
They've only rushed for 45 yards today. Going to try it again. There is Irvin slashing back to the 23-yard line. Scott is down to the bottom. Winfield has Scott. Plummer comes off Plaxico. Looks underneath. Scott couldn't hang on. Winfield. Drills one. Low returnable for Boston from the 35-yard line. Got it up the middle. And smacked at the 45. Ohio State, 54 yards away. Wiley slashes right. Strung out. Cuts back. And smacked at midfield. What a difference a half makes. Only a one of seven. Throwing for the eighth time. The flare pass complete in the flat. But Miller is well defended. More High formation. Jermaine moves the pocket hard to the right under pressure. There's Peterson again. Fumble. Ball is loose. Spartans go for it. They've got it at the 20-yard line. Josh Shaw with his second recovery of the day. And it was Peterson. Different looking team here in the second half. Inside the 20-yard line. And Burke steps away down in the hands of Rodzinski. And that is the third sack. Here's the corner blitz. The handoff to Irvin. They expected the pass. Spartans need to get just a little bit closer. Plenty of time. Burke to the middle. Fires diving incomplete. And he had Scott open. Here comes another 42-yard attempt. Right down the middle. He has hit his fifth field goal. And that ties his own school record. Could be the biggest day of his college coaching life. Rambo for the Buckeyes. Here they come again. 15, 20, just short of it. Lumpkin and Wisniewski. The two tight ends for the Bucks. And Montgomery's a running back. Powers his way for 10 yards. Go on and finish his career as a national champ. Coming back and pounding into the secondary again. That's 20 yards and a couple of carries for Joe Montgomery. But Montgomery has changed the tempo. Swinging wide, strung out that time, and then pounded up for a couple of yards. It's Wiley swinging behind Keller. Got it now. Explodes across midfield. First down and 10. Here's Wiley tossed short side. Got a block from Keller. And he is stopped. Running the ISO. Couple of tailbacks. Here's Montgomery on that ISO. And he's jumped by the Spartans. At the D. Miller, the lone wideout. Jermaine and the Bucks need five. They'll try the toss with Montgomery. Did not get it. Behind Matt Keller. Here's the toss to Montgomery. Colors the lead blocker. Can he get the first down? Got it as he dives for it at the last instant. Boston matched against Ronaldo Hill. Jermaine hands off. Wiley. Peterson hanging on and throws him back. Well, Wisconsin and Michigan are through. The Buckeyes battling for their lives right now from the 30-yard lines. Wiley again stops short of the first down. Jamar Martin is the fullback in front of Wiley. They need three. Hand off to Wiley, cuts away, he's short. Fourth down and one. Nothing fancy. Smash mouth for the Bucks. Montgomery stood up in the hole. Did not get there as Turner led the assault. Michigan State. They still have to score a touchdown. There's a penalty flag. There's a penalty flag. So it is a five-yard penalty against the Spartans. But now Michigan State must eat away at the clock. 3-33, first down and 15. Bill Burke, who's passed for more than 300 yards, hands off to Cedric Irvin, who picks his way. Thought was back in 74, trying to do it again on second down. Burke waiting. Hey, good. Open. Got him. First down, a huge play. Is your time remaining, too. 2.44. One of the big four in danger of being toppled. Urban slips. 204. There's Urban. Slips. 
for about a yard. Only one timeout left. Here's third down. Have to stop Cedric, and they do. They come up with Rodney Bailey. Gets it off. The return is set. Here's Boston. Boston from the 24. Boston coming up the right side. Boston to the 45. And down just short of midfield. Jermaine. Protection. Middle. Boston got it inside the 35. Clock stops in the college game. Michigan State should not forget about the tight end. Lumpkin right down the middle. He scored earlier in the game. Jermaine again looks to the middle. Got him again exactly to the 15-yard line. Jermaine looks right, goes high. Boston off his hands incomplete. Ohio State needs a touchdown. Down by four. 125 to go. Second and ten. Looks incomplete. The running backs are split. Wiley blocks. Incomplete. It's come down to one down. So here is fourth down. And Jermaine takes it deep. Troy's Miller intercepted. Hill's got it. Ronaldo Hill. 1-12 to kill on the clock as Ronaldo Hill picks off the pass intended for D. Miller. Credit is deserving for Michigan State's corners and their entire secondary. Ohio State cannot stop the clock. And Burke. One more look. The number one team falls. The biggest win of Nick Saban's coaching career. And heartache for John Cooper and the Buckeyes. There will be no Tempe, Arizona on the night of January 4th for Ohio State. The Bowl Championship Series is up for grabs again.